Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 34. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then He will sit on the throne of His glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him, and mm. He will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Amen. Yeah. The kingdom prepared from the foundation of the world. Amen. In one sense, it's speaking of time, I believe. Well, in the greater sense. But there's also the sense that the foundation of the world was actually unto this purpose. Mm -hmm. That there would be this kingdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or it's causative. Or, or preparatory. Both are true. Mm -hmm. you, this text starts out, when the Son of Man shall come. Basically. Mm. So we're looking at a, a future event. Mm -hmm. And yet... Right? And yet? Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Now, there's a... When we, when we have a text, I want to... There's a lot of things that we're going to talk about as far as uh, exploring the dimensions of it, but the main point that we're declaring is that there is a kingdom. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to lose sight of that. Yeah. There is a kingdom, and it's already been... It's, it's being worked on, not like there's a construction project going on. Well, there is, but mm -hmm. I think it's more this way. I think the construction project is going on for you. Yeah. You. Amen. You're, you're being prepared more than there's, you know, workers there and yeah. getting things Amen. ready that you would move into. I mean, there's a lot of talk about mansions and things, but this, we're talking about a, a large place that's mm -hmm. going to be inhabited by a very large number mm -hmm. of people, mm -hmm. and God is there. So, here at the main text and the phrase that we're lifting out of that is, now note too, with a lot of the things we've talked about this weekend, right in the wording of the text that will talk about a mystery, this one is not like that, but yet it is a mystery in the sense that it is yet to be revealed in its fullness. Mm -hmm. We know limited amounts of uh, ex explanation or detail concerning the, the actual but, but see, heaven's not like that. Heaven's not like you're going to go and, I mean, we, people talk about streets of gold, and, mm. and Revelation has the, talking about a river, mm -hmm. a tree of life, mm -hmm. these sort of things. But what, what is all that? It's not, it's not like you go out and you look at the tree in the front yard here so much. Yeah. You know, it's not like a street. And it's talking about passageways. It's talking about life. It's talking about large ideas of, mm. of things that are beyond the realm that we live in this earth here. So we're not going to define it so much mm -hmm. as we are going to declare that it is a, a wonderful thing to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that we do know about, so we're not just going to go over all those mm -hmm. things either. I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not saying that. When he gives this announcement, this is an announcement at the time of the judgment. This is at the mm -hmm. time when there's a great, the greatest division of all time is now made. Mm -hmm. See, he's, he gathers things together here, but there is going to be a future time of dividing once yeah, for all. That's right. Sheep, goats, mm -hmm. right hand, left hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome in, depart from me. Those mm -hmm. are the two. So this here, that we're looking at this kingdom prepared from the foundation of the world that is announced to those that are believing, those mm -hmm. that are rejoicing to hear this, is an announcement of a blessed condition or a placement. It's a placement where where, the, where we will be installed forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, now, now it's in a, a state of flux in a sense in that we're mm -hmm. in the earth because there are those that are falling away and there are those that are persevering mm -hmm. and yet there will become a time when these are concreted and there will be a placement. Yeah. But it's scheduled for those abiding in divine favor. You're abiding in divine favor. Mm -hmm. God is looking upon you as he looks upon his son. Mm -hmm. He favors you, and so he orients things to getting you home, as it were, and bringing you into this place of blessing, into this kingdom that has been prepared from the foundation of the world. But at this time, there will be an announcement made, and there will be an assigning, an assigning of permanence at the final judgment. Mm -hmm. This determination is made by God. Others will be involved. The holy angels will be involved. You note that in the first 
verse here that we, Tim read, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and the holy angels with him. Mm. So there's a lot of personalities present, but there's going to be a determination made and that determination will be the Son of Man. He's going to mm -hmm. divide the sheep from the goats. Mm -hmm. It will be found out, this determination will be found out according to revealed standards. This is not something where we're going to get down to the, the, the final bell, as it were, and I have no clue what's going to happen. Now, there are some things that we'll read in a little bit as far as the details of men, personalities entering in. Well, some will say, well, I didn't realize it was really going that way, and they'll be encouraged, and others will be greatly disappointed. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this yeah. is not something that's unknown in the sense of the Spirit has communicated through the Scriptures that those are people that are coming to God are coming through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this is not unknown in that way. Mm -hmm. But the determination will be by revealed standards, mm -hmm. I call it, and in conformity with the expression of God's eternal purpose. There will be no deviation from what God has said from the very beginning. Why is it? Well, that's because it's 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 prepared from the foundation yeah, of the amen. world, not only in the sense that when God says something or determines something, it's as good as done, as we've said. But also, there's not going to be a deviation from it later down the road. He's not going to have to revamp things and, and change things around because of anything that happened in time. Mm -hmm. But this kingdom, thusly prepared, will enable a permanent residency for those that were once identified with Adam's race. Adam's race is like a, uh, a partial... Uh, it, it's something that's going to like actually fade away in our in our remembrance. Mm -hmm. But we'll be forever joined unto the realities of heaven, and remaining in God's presence forever. So you can see, obviously, that the kingdom of heaven that he's speaking of, this kingdom, surpasses by far the dominion that was given to man, the man and the woman in Eden. A, a dominion was begun there, but this was as a preparatory work of understanding in them, and. The things that were installed in, in Adam and Eve, as it were, at the beginning concerning dominion were not to be going on indefinitely, see? Mm -hmm. I mean, think about this, and we'll talk about this more later. All these things were, if, if you could, speaking as a man, as we say, if you could say that God calculated all these things. See, in other words, mm -hmm. if this kingdom is prepared from the foundation of the world, then it allows for all these events that are taking place in time mm -hmm. without any need for any kind of a change. Mm -hmm. So this was not a Garden of Eden and all the things that happened after that were not going to change this work that God was going to do to have a kingdom. It already was in place. Now you know too the second part of the text that we did not read, but I'll go ahead and do that. I was reminded of this. The scriptures are not redundant saying the same thing again and again just to stretch out the text as it were. It's making a point. It's, make, it's making a point that these actual words and things that are ministering here are really going to come up. Think mm -hmm. of in Daniel, remember when they were supposed to bow before the idol and it lists all the, the, the sack but and the psaltery and the harp mm -hmm. and all that, and, and then it talks about they didn't and they gave them another chance, but it can, it, it's very detailed. This is the same sort of thing. It lists these components of understanding how men related to the Son of Man or not, it lists them four times. Mm -hmm. Two times in relation to those that are entering and two times in relation to those that are not. Mm -hmm. But he says, verse, let's go 34 and go into the next one. He says, I was in hungered, hungered, hungry, and you gave me meat. I was mm -hmm. thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Yeah. Now when they answer back, they're not saying we didn't really do that. They're saying... I don't recall that that was really my intent. In other words, they're saying, I didn't do this to gain entry. I didn't. Mm -hmm. And this is like mm -hmm. the realization dawns upon men that they actually did this because they were in Christ. Mm -hmm. That they were the <clears throat> sheep. That they were, what does he call them? He says, come ye blessed of my Father. Mm -hmm. That's the ones that he's talking about. And then they will ask this, when did we see you in, these, in this manner? And his answer to them is, the king shall answer, verse 40, and say unto them, Verily, or truly, this, this happened in time. This, this really took place. Mm -hmm. This is not something that I just accredited to you. Mm -hmm. Your works were congruent with who you were. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. And so the works of those that are sent out are also in agreement with mm -hmm. who they were. 
Mm -hmm. So the king shall answer, Truly I say, verily, inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Yeah, that's right. And of course John, in his epistle, goes into more detail, speaking of the love of the brethren. It's not a, yeah. it's not something that we have to try to do. It's something that exudes from spiritual pores mm -hmm. of the yeah. new man, actually. Yeah. So. But you see the contrast. This was brought up in uh, the last few days, like it is in Psalm 1. The wicked and, and the righteous. Mm -hmm. But there's a stark contrast set concerning those on the left. He says mm -hmm. to them, depart from me, mm -hmm. ye cursed. That's right. Up, up here he talks about the ones you blessed of my father. Now these are the ones that are cursed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Of the father. That's obviously, right. Yep. Into everlasting fire. Mm -hmm. Prepared not for you necessarily, yep. but you've you've accommodated yourself to that condition by refusal of the the other option, as it were, mm -hmm. of being blessed. Prepared for the devil and his angels. So you see the scales are very final, completely yeah. final. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The stakes are extremely high. I mean mm -hmm. you can't measure, you know, mm -hmm. again. Men cannot afford though to po postpone their personal involvement until a more convenient season. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah, amen. Can't. Mm -hmm. can't. So today if you hear his voice, this yeah. is like yeah. the amen. this is like the underlying chorus of scripture. Mm -hmm. And the ministry of God to men. The horrors of judgment away from God were not prepared for mankind, mm -hmm. but they will certainly be assigned mm -hmm. at that time. Yes. But here's how we're rejoicing. Even so, as certainly will the benefit come to those yes. on the right hand. Amen. Amen. This inheritance and this kingdom laid up for the blessed will certainly be awarded <clears throat> at that time. Uh -huh. Now we can speak of these things and rejoice that they will be. It, uh, there's a hope set before us. All these things are mm. in our favor. You know what I meant to say, too? This is a time of uh, sort of an open discussion, too. If you have anything, by all means, we, we, we do that as we go through. So speak, speak up if you do. The things that we know concerning this kingdom are not stumbled upon. Mm-hmm. They're revealed. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not something that you have to look back in time to study. Well, what did so and so say about this? Although you know, there's nothing wrong with looking what others have understood about this. But we don't do it as a matter of fact gathering. Mm -hmm. The things that we know have to be. See, they have to become personal to you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how can mm -hmm. you rejoice in them? You can't. You can't necessarily rejoice in what some somebody else has seen. You know, mm -hmm. by proxy. I mean, a little bit, but not like this. These are re increasingly revealed by divine order and working. When I say divine order, I mean by this. We've been talking about this matter of the commandment. Mm -hmm. A commandment. Think about this. A, th a commandment is something that God has decreed is going to take place. Even the Ten Commandments are actually transcribed by in the new creature into things of rejoicing. Amen. Mm -hmm. You Amen. shall not kill. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you don't hate. I mean, these yeah. sort of things. Yeah. Amen. You shall yeah. love the Lord your God Amen. with all your hearts Amen. and mind strength. So mm -hmm. these, these declarations are revealed by the divine order. This is a divine order that the matter the manner of the kingdom, mm -hmm. see, it, it's, you're going to be able to take hold of these things as you, as the scriptures are opened up mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And working. God, God is working that these things would be opened up to you too. Mm -hmm. He works in, He works uh, with you alone as you're perusing the scriptures. He works with you when you're, say, out on your job or driving your car, and you see something, and you say, "That's what God meant." It's mm -hmm. like a, it's like a demonstration, mm -hmm. yeah. like, like Job with the tree. He said, mm -hmm. "Well, it's cut down, but you know, here, here I see some some mm -hmm. things coming back that are yeah. green." You know, oh, so, yeah. so that's the divine working. He, he mm -hmm. affirms that to you, and even in the work of the created earth, mm -hmm. and also among the brethren. This is a high level of working. He, mm -hmm. he works that these things would be affirmed by your brethren. Mm -hmm. You, several of you have mentioned we're working on these different texts and things, and you're, you're kind of working through, and then you get up and and you realize that several other brethren have already said these things. Well, that's not mm -hmm. a downside. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a confirming working that mm -hmm. God's doing yeah. concerning His kingdom. Not only in the very doing of it, but also in the things that are said mm -hmm. and shown. Mm -hmm. The declaration here in our text, Come, ye blessed, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This declaration speaks of a prepared nature of a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Prepared nature, kingdom. 
weighting those in God's favor. Now, not like, not like prepare like I got it together and it's just sitting on the shelf and now, you know, a bunch of time has to go by. This is very key to note in this. This matter of preparing is a continuing work of God because mm -hmm. he's fitting together people mm -hmm. for, a, for a place, as it were, if we can call it a place. It's a, it's, it's a location, but it's not a location like Merrillville. It, mm -hmm. It's a place outside of time. It's a place, obviously, outside of a geographical location. But it's a fitting together of a people. He's working in them, mm -hmm. and he's working in the overall manner of where they're going to be and what they're going to do. But it's something that existed before we were... Yeah, before Amen. Adam, before mm -hmm. Eve, and certainly before mm -hmm. Abraham and Noah and the saints mm -hmm. and the wicked. Mm -hmm. But this is speaking, we're focusing primarily on those that are in God's favor because it's a kingdom prepared for them and for us. Mm -hmm. It will not come as a surprise to its recipients on the last day. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be surprised. <clears throat> this, was, this was Jesus speaking to the disciples mm -hmm. prior to his death prior to the coming of the Holy Spirit. So certainly more has opened up, mm -hmm. as we've noted mm -hmm. very well in the writing of the apostles, and even Jesus himself, he, he told them, he said, all these things are not going to really be expanded in your understanding until mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit comes. Mm -hmm. But we're really, in that day. Mm -hmm. Yes, go right ahead. This matter of the of surprise, now there, as you said, there's a, this is not going to come as a surprise, mm -hmm. at least in the... In, but there is there is a sense, you know, like in Matthew 25 there, where they, there was an element of surprise because it was it was more than they thought. Oh yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. it was just uh -huh. in, from that perspective. But yeah. they were they were anticipating. Yeah, they were anticipating the favor being favorably dealt with. But mm -hmm. this it was just when did we do this? Mm. You know, they they just didn't they didn't make these kind of they didn't associations. Make the connections. They yeah. didn't make yeah. those connections. Yeah, so. yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. But, but it won't come as a surprise in the sense that, well, we never had any idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is revealed how many years ago, 2000-ish, mm -hmm. and, and they, and we have so much more in this day and age as men of, you know, the past several thousand years have reasoned with. So we've been, you know, we've been excited about these things for a long time, as it were, talking about these things. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, uh, the mystery of it is, like Brother Al said, it's more the association and how it actually transferred from... Here I am walking around here, and now I'm in the presence of the king. Mm -hmm. See, that, the, there's mm -hmm. the surprise part. It's like you can't get your mind into all yeah. those things, because, but you're being prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So it won't be an abrupt, yeah, that's right. jarring change. See, mm -hmm. you're, you're being fitted in. We are. We are. Mm -hmm. From early on, though, news of such has been forthcoming, as noted as far back, of course, as the garden. Often... These administrations or revelations mm -hmm. have been in small doses, mm -hmm. like maybe to one person, mm -hmm. maybe in a dream, you know, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in an observation, like I said to Joe, small doses, or maybe maybe to a tribe, or maybe mm -hmm. to a like Israel, maybe by a prophet, maybe written down, maybe orally, you mm -hmm. know, small doses, but not always. Sometimes they've like broken forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In great swells of promise, mm -hmm. like like think of the, you know, sometimes when you go to like a, a small pond or lake, you just you know the water just kind of blowing and lapping on the shore. But now you go to the ocean, now that's different. You mm -hmm. don't want to, you know, that's mm -hmm. a big swell coming in there. So sometimes breaking forth in great swells of promise are waves of foretelling. Mm -hmm. And you pick up the prophet Isaiah and mm -hmm. you look at what he says and you you look at certain chapters. Oh, this is a large wave, mm -hmm. telling mm -hmm. about the kingdom to come. Mm -hmm. And it, and it tells the nature of the kingdom. It's not yeah. just saying, this this is coming to you. It's speaking about all the involvements of how it's coming to you. Mm -hmm. Through Christ Jesus is what I'm talking about. That's what we're majoring on this weekend. Mm -hmm. the mystery of Christ. The earliest audience to receive a hint was, was our forebears in the Garden of Creation, as noted in the speaking of the bruising. And after that, of course, in increasing levels and to increasing numbers of people and more and more being known even by the principalities and heavenly places as it's as it's opened up not only through God saying things to men or through the prophets but also in the continuing resolution of these things in other words he says something and it comes to pass mm -hmm. and then he says this and it, maybe it's obscure back here but that well there it came to pass mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is this is actually a, a, a ratification that 
the things that God said concerning this kingdom also are entirely mm -hmm. true and accurate and even, mm -hmm. like I said, larger than we mm -hmm. had thought. Mm -hmm. The existence and the existence of and the preparation for the kingdom of note here has never been in question though from a divine standpoint. Mm -hmm. God God never he wasn't like going backward and like Jesus when he spoke here, this is red letter what we've read as we've called mm -hmm. it, but he wasn't he wasn't you know, just kinda glossing things over and saying, Well, this is it really was since the beginning. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. was. He's he's eternal. Mm -hmm. Now the the word did become flesh, mm -hmm. but it's essentially the same member of yeah. Godhead. See what I mean? There, uh -huh. there aren't four. There are mm -hmm. three. That's right. So he had prior access to this knowledge mm -hmm. and and he knew it. Mm -hmm. And he had and it was his father at this point. Mm -hmm. And the father, father, go ahead. I wanted to say something about this that you you mentioned about the, the dividing of the sheep. You know, this is a the result of a predetermined destiny that was decided upon the earth in part. In other words, nothing is going to change. We never have been, those that have been called out, those that are Christ's sheep, never have been a part of, of the others. I mean, we, the one time we did, but see, there was a time when the separation occurred on earth, and that's my point. So, all right, so what we're seeing Jesus do there is just a manifestation of a division that already occurred on earth because of their faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is the one that makes the divide, it, it's like the dividing point between a sheep and a goat. Amen. When faith comes and a person receives Christ by faith, and in God, by the operation of God, they are put in the Christ, mm -hmm. then the division has already occurred. And what we're seeing there is Christ is the manifestation of that, or the making known of it to all the universe. Mm -hmm. So you'll never see in this account a goat making his way over to being a sheep. Mm -hmm. Not right. there. Yeah. Not there. But see, there are some people who think that. Um, I mean, we have a whole body of religion called Catholics that believe that this is possible. Mm -hmm. That once you leave the body, you can actually pray yeah. somebody over. Yeah to the other side. I'm sorry, that's never going to happen. So Amen. see now, this is why it, it behooves men mm -hmm. to give themselves to the here, preaching of the gospel mm -hmm. and to give themselves to, to believing in because now is when you're making these kinds of decisions now. Mm -hmm. So it's critical and, and I'm not saying that you implied any different than that. I just yeah. want to clarify that because this is, this is something, we're seeing something. Jesus is, isn't determining it then. No. He's already determined yeah. it now. Mm -hmm. it, it's being evidenced now. Yes. One by one. Right? Yeah, that's one right. One by one. Make your calling and election. That's too. right. Uh -huh. How about this? He says, we are his workmanship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then it says elsewhere that his works were known from the foundation. Of yes. The world. How, do, how do you see it otherwise? Yeah. Right, Tony? Yes, I, we are, we've discussed this before and we know this, that <clears throat> whatever, whatever is decided upon mm -hmm. uh, in heaven... Uh, it's what takes place on the earth. It, right. it, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the heavenly yeah. dictates. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that we uh, we can tie in the first chapter of Ephesians in this text we're looking at this morning, mm -hmm. where all these where every, uh, where it discusses Paul discusses mm -hmm. how all these things were uh, actually decided upon and chosen in Him mm -hmm. before yeah. the foundation of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about what Christ is going, uh, the purpose of God. And the brethren and all these things mm -hmm. was uh, decided upon then before the foundation. Of, that's that's why we have these. That's what, how we can have appointments. You mm -hmm. see, these things are appointed yes. because they, we, God has appointments all through time, they, mm -hmm. the fullness of time, and things that mm -hmm. is appointed unto men. And, mm -hmm. But that's because it's already been decided upon ahead of time. You know, uh, on the earth, the kingdoms men have kingdoms, and they have those who. Uh, they rule over in the kingdoms, but and and the kingdom of God is different. Mm -hmm. There's no disassociation between the king and and the kingdom, really? mm -hmm. like we would see here. I right. mean, you could almost mm -hmm. say there's a point where Christ is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like what he says. For for example, later on he'll say, "Well, uh, at least you've done it on the you've done it on the least these my brethren, you've done it unto me." So that, yeah. So this is how uh, closely. 
uh, knitted Christ mm -hmm. is in the, with the kingdom. That's right. now, I never thought about it like this, but could we say this? Now, Christ said in John 17, right? All that the Father hath given me shall come to me, right? Yes. So could Christ say at this time, when he's dividing the sheep, that all these sheep here, these are all that the Father hath given me. Mm -hmm. I mean, wouldn't that, wouldn't that describe what he was talking about exactly there? Exactly, Father. Well, that's what it says in Ephesians. Right. Yeah. This is a time of, of that's right. you know. That's right. Yeah. We were actually adopted. It says we, yeah. we haven't predestinated us unto the adoption of children mm -hmm. by Jesus Christ. And, uh, according to the good pleasure of will. This is, this is all in the context right. of yeah. a four time. Right. See, in, in time and in the earth, now men have a, a loose association maybe in their minds or even sometimes they're totally in their understanding uh -huh. concerning their relationship to Christ. But mm -hmm. here, they won't. That's right. See, yeah, that's it's, right. it's making known mm -hmm. at the end time here, what is your association with this one that was that is chosen by God. Right. See, we're living in a time now. You mentioned this that we're in a time of flux. Okay. Now, 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 the, that that is in totally in agreement with what he said. I will not blot your name out of the book of life. All right. Now, in order for him to say that, it also must indeed be true that it could be blotted out. Mm -hmm. Now, there, in other words, Judas fell. He didn't have to fall. All right, but it, but it, there's also a sense in which Jesus said, "I chose him for this." You see, so so see, we're not we're we we are not the ones that are in charge of these things. God is in charge of these things, but we have to be able to recognize that we are living in a time of extreme danger. We must make our calling and election sure. Not to God. God already knows. To us. To us. To the ones that are walking by faith. If we're walking by faith, can, can you lose faith? Can you abandon the faith? Well, if a person says no to that, they don't really know the, the true condition. A person can make a shipwreck of their faith. So, so what? Well, we have to be on our guard. And that's really the whole purpose of the book of the Revelation is to prove is to prove to the saints that if you'll keep on fighting, you'll win. But it's also true that if you don't, there is no way that you're going to find yourself on the sheep side. Amen. So see, this is when you mention this, it, it excites a whole lot of thought in my mind. That see, right now we're in the we're in the giving all diligence stage. We we've got to do this. But it's in order that we'll end up. Now, and it isn't like we're making it happen. Mm -hmm. Christ already purchased us. Christ already purchased, right? The blood of Christ. He purchased the salvation. But see, we're entering into that salvation by our faith. And well, anyway, I, I'll, I'll let you teach the class. The scriptures do. Say, <laughs> <laughs> the scriptures do say. I'm, I'm actually not teaching the class. I'm sorry. <laughs> The Holy Spirit is teaching. We're teaching each other. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> the scriptures do say to present you holy, unblameable, un unreprovable in His sight, right. if you continue yeah. in the faith, yes. grounded and rooted in yep. the hope yep. of the gospel. Yep. Amen. So, yep. I want to um, make some uh, some observations here too. Mm -hmm. and, um, in the making of our calling and election, sure. You've got to know that you're one of the elect. Right? That's right. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. how do you know that? Uh -huh. How do you know that? Mm -hmm. Now, there's got to be a way that you know that. Yes, amen. There's got to be a way that every man and woman knows that. Amen. Yes, amen. See that? Otherwise, you otherwise you're guessing. That's yeah. right. You know, we're just guessing. We're just we're just uh -huh. reading the air. If we're just you know, that's it's you know, what are we doing? We're just gonna uh -huh. we're putting amen. forth a lot of energy, but we really don't know if we really are. See, but mm -hmm. now, I'll just tell you, this is how it is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is how I this is how I've come to see this. Now, listen. Mm -hmm. You know, Christ, now just think about this. Christ is God's elect. Mm -hmm. Remember, he said Isaiah forty-two. Amen. He says, "I've chosen you." Mm -hmm. Now, who did he? Who would? Who did he choose them from among? Mm -hmm. How many did he have to choose? Mm -hmm. There was only one. Mm -hmm. There was only one that he chose. He only had one that he could choose, but he still called them God's elect. Mm -hmm. Now, listen. That's see. Now, this has got to weigh into our theology about the meaning of election. See, so this, see this, see this, this has to factor in here. This is. Even as it pertains to our election, this is our election is determined by our identification with Amen. Christ. Amen. Yes. See, now here, listen. It's it works like now. I saw this like forty years ago with regard to sonship. Mm -hmm. I remember wondering whether I was a son of God. But yeah. see, I'll just to tell you the thing that clarified it 
was seeing that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. When, mm -hmm. you, when you see that, see that clarifies <laughs> that clarifies that you're a son of God. When you mm -hmm. see that, see, Amen. and see, and Jesus was the he would remember the Father sanctified him mm -hmm. and sent him into the world. Yeah. That's a, now in your as you think about that. That's what clarifies that you're sanctified. See, mm -hmm. otherwise you're guessing. How do you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're just pre we're presuming. We're actually on the same ground that the Pharisees are. Would yeah. you say? Wait, what, what, what basis do we have? How do you? Have, what basis do you have to say that you're one of God's elect? Now, I, 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 I'm, I'm persuaded that I am. Mm -hmm. But see that I, but I, I have. I, I'm persuaded because I, I know that I know that I'm in Christ. See, yeah. I know that I am. Amen. You can know that you're. I'll just say you can know that you're in Christ. Yeah. Amen. You can know that God loves you. Mm -hmm. if you, you, you can know that. No. You can know. You can know that you love God. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, He said, "If any man love God, Amen. the same is known of Him." See, now you can know that. See now, now the, see these are things that that are knowable. See, and mm -hmm. and these are things it, you've got. There's got to be a basis for confidence. See, so mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's got to be a solid foundation for confidence. Otherwise, we're just. We're just spinning and we're spinning our wheels, you know. This is a. And in the matter of working out eternal salvation, God chose Christ to be the one to bear sin, and um, but but your basis of the entrance into that salvation is your faith. It's right. You believe. With Jesus. Yeah. You believe that He's the one yeah. that God that God <coughs> elected to take away the sin of the world. That that's your entrance Amen. into this salvation. Is that you believe that? Yeah. He said, remember, he said in Galatians, he said, uh, you are all the children of faith. You're all the children of God by faith That's in right. Jesus Christ. Amen. For as many of you as have been baptized into, into Christ, Christ. That's right. have yeah. put on Christ. That's now, right. Now, there's, now there's, let me just, I'm going to make a, a daring and bold mm. statement here, but I'll just tell you that there's nobody in Christ that's not elect. Mm. And there's nobody that's outside of Christ that is elect. Amen. See, so, but you can know See, now here, this is where the, the clarity is. See, this is what we've been talking about in this matter of the mystery. See, see the, the clarity, see, Christ is the one who Amen. brings clarity yeah. Yeah. His, in his person. He's the one who brings clarity in every in, from every vantage point. He brings yeah. clarity. Mm -hmm. He brings clarity regarding your situation. Yeah. He brings mm -hmm. clarity regarding God's eternal purpose mm -hmm. and, and your involvement in it and God and what God is doing. See, Christ is the one Amen. who brings the clarity, see, and your That's identification right. with him. You can you can know that you're in Christ. Yeah, I like that. That's Amen. what he's pointing out here in this very text. Yeah. It's becoming clear. It's like mm -hmm. some you know how you take some things and then you put a, an overview or something over mm -hmm. them and you're actually able to see what it really says. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to take place mm -hmm. in the judgment. Mm -hmm. What was see you have to have an identity with this one that is from times eternal, mm -hmm. time eternal, because the Pharisees they made their connection to who? Moses, mm -hmm. a great man, man God mm -hmm. worked with, but he was a man. Abraham, Abraham too. Abraham, that's, yeah, I meant mm -hmm. Abraham. Sorry, but but your association is with the one that has that come down from heaven and has gone to heaven. Mm -hmm. so. Men have been addressed though in, one by one in their situation. Who's calling an election? Do you make sure? I mean, we all care about each mm -hmm, other, obviously, mm -hmm. and we, we want to, if we see our brothers mm -hmm. sin, you know, we, we pray and we ask mm -hmm. the Lord and do these sort of things, but really when it comes down to it, make your calling an election. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. He tells you right in the, in the following verse, Amen. right? Yeah. He says, add to your faith. Now, how, now, that's how you make your calling an election. Sure, you're, mm -hmm. this is what clarifies Amen. it. So you're, you're adding to your you. faith. And you, right, see, yeah. so. mm -hmm. And nobody's saying anything different than that here, so. Yeah. Men, men must be constantly brought within earshot of these realities, though. Mm -hmm. See, these, these are what these are what keep you from your foot wandering mm -hmm. from the way. So you mm -hmm. be brought in to the hearing of these the realities of these things. So what did what did he say? Jesus said, "He who has ears to hear." That's right. Let him hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let him hear. He didn't say it just once. It was recorded in the Gospels several times as a saying of Jesus. But it's like the signature declaration of the mm -hmm. Scriptures, really. Divine utterance can be had for the taking. Mm -hmm. If he says it, there it is. Yeah. See, now you can you can take it, and, and it can work in you. Mm -hmm. There's a corollary invitation, it's, and that's this starts way back. He said, "Today, mm -hmm. if you hear his voice." Yes. And then he repeated it several times through mm -hmm. the scriptures. And but an attentive an attentiveness to this manner of speaking. Mm -hmm. So someone when they hear this, they you know there's like a resonance in them, and they perk up into mm -hmm. spiritually speaking, 
it shows that one is in harmony with God's work of preparing a people, mm -hmm. Amen. and particularly a person, yeah. when you hear it, mm -hmm. to inherit the kingdom. So those that hear, those that hear and have ears to hear and do hear, they're they're not just likely and suitable candidates. Mm -hmm. They're ones that are making their calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. Now this time of the announcement of this blessed state that, see in a sense we've entered into this blessed state because it's a sure thing. Mm -hmm. But when I say we're in a period of flux, I don't mean in a period of thrashing about not knowing what's going mm -hmm. on. That's mm -hmm. not what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean we're in this uh, domain of, of danger. Mm -hmm. Conflict. Conflict. Amen. I mean, yeah. we put a lot of words in here. Yeah. This, this word we've used this weekend, mm -hmm. intrigue. See, there's things that mm -hmm. we're looking into, but there's, there's, there's personalities looking into you, too, mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we consistently, we say, search me, O oh God. Amen. Say, He's the one mm -hmm. that has to Amen. really search you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this this is a very rewarding thing to hear for the sheep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But think about that. Think about this also. But it's more than that. This is a great time of triumph for the shepherd. Amen. <laughs> Here he is. It's a, he's the one that's given to be the, the judge of all flesh and, and the one by, to whom the Father has committed the judgment of the men of this earth. And he's the one that's going to divide. Mm -hmm. As a shepherd divides his sheep from mm -hmm. the goats, and who is the shepherd identified as the Son of Man? Mm -hmm. he, he's the one that walked mm -hmm. here. He's the one that was tested and tempted in all points. Mm -hmm. He's the one that identified completely, not, not just in a large way, but completely. He identified to the degree that he had to with men so that he could be an adequate sacrifice uh -huh. for the sins of Amen. the world. How's mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. but, yet he was, but yet he remained attached to, connected with, and tied with all that from the mm -hmm. divine that he had to, to actually affect it. Mm -hmm. it. It wasn't just that he wanted to do it, he did it. Mm -hmm. in, in, re, in regard to men, but more particularly in regard to God. Mm -hmm. See, if he just came and he, and he just did things that he had to for men, without being in tune and in line with mm -hmm. what the Father sent him to do, then he would have failed. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. He did He did all adequately. Yes? Yeah, and, and the power of Christ, the power of the Gospel in, this re in Christ's resurrection is so powerful that, that he will do everything that he says he will mm -hmm. do. Those that are elect, yeah. they will make it. Mm -hmm. they, they will be able to be victorious in this. And I was also thinking about how, like when, uh, was it Jacob that... Uh, yeah, that worked the years for Rachel, and, mm -hmm. and, the, and they gave, yeah. gave him these these yeah. goats, and they yeah. whichever ones he got, they increased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whatever Christ has, it yeah. increases. Amen. You know? Amen. You ever feel, feel ring strength and strength? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just pass under the rod. You know? yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah. But I was just thinking about how this looks from the vantage point of eternity and mm -hmm. the Son of Man. I mean, we think of this in relation to, well, I'm going to inherit the kingdom, and, and we are, mm -hmm. certainly. Yeah. This, he's involved in this yes. Yes. completely. More than you. He's, mm -hmm. not, yeah. he's not distracted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Amen. Certainly not now. I mean, in the days of his flesh, he was uh, straightened occasionally. Mm -hmm. But this is a time for the shepherd, because now he has successfully and thoroughly accomplished the mm -hmm. work. This has come up to the time of, of the reward. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's the one that's... Uh, yeah. And the way it says that he shall separate. He shall separate. He shall that's separate. Right. He shall mm -hmm. separate. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. all, all judgment has been given unto the Son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was looking at Isaiah 42, and it says he reveals his servant. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. See, so there's this tying of you know, the, the, the matter of the Jew and the Gentiles. See, this is... They're all going to be passing through this, this same judgment. He's going to say further, he shall bring forth judgment on the truth. And, the truth. Mm -hmm. and he has not said judgment in the air. See, this is all pertaining to the Son. He's, he's the one that is is doing the, the judging because the Father's given that all to him. Mm -hmm. and I thought about this too. When you, when you think about the righteous God and, that, and all he does is righteous, mm -hmm. well, then if he's appointing a judge to do this, well, then. He's, 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 I guess you could say looking at him as being responsible too because he's the one that appointed this judge. Mm -hmm. And if there is not ju righteous judgment mm -hmm. made, it's reflecting back on the one who appointed him. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's, he's appointed the one who shall not be discouraged or fail. He's That's not right. going to fail in a righteous judgment. That's right. Every, every one is going to be judged righteously. Amen. Amen. You, have, you have three things in view or three conditions 
in view here. And Christ, the Son of Man, is the one that has had experience. Think of that word, mm -hmm. all three. He's the one that's come down from heaven. Mm -hmm. He's also been in the earth. Mm -hmm. He's been in the lowest parts of the earth. That's right. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell, yeah. in the place of the dead. Mm -hmm. So he's able to adequately and, and completely judge mm -hmm. these things in, in righteousness. But here a kingdom prepared from the foundation of the world speaks certainly of a, a timeless nature, mm -hmm. of something that was... We have such a hard time with this. I mean, we talk about it, but we have to like stretch. And now we're in the, the realm of thinking by and talking by faith, really. We, mm -hmm. we talk outside of time. But I, be, I believe that I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. By whom he made the world. So yeah, we don't have a problem with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't neglect the consideration, being that this was a kingdom prepared before the foundation of the mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. it doesn't neglect that there's a period of time. It's mm -hmm. not saying we're just going to skip over all that and, well, here it is, let's open up these doors that are dusty. It's not like that at all. Mm -hmm. There's been a maintenance project, too. Mm -hmm. A very large one. There's been a, a proliferation of uh, things given out, of revelation, of things written down, mm -hmm. of things spoken. See, all this time, these things are just bursting to come out, you know, mm -hmm. from, the, from the heavenly places that men would be benefited. And actually, you'd be able to be spoken to in this manner on the last day. But uh, the the subject, the the fact that uh, men are in the earth and there's there's these influences of time in the earth, there there's a transitional element that we note here. Remember in John it says it this way: In the beginning was the Word. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. See, so now he has he's privy to the knowledge that. that of mankind. He, he, he's able to be touched with the feeling of your infirmity. Mm. See, he, he, in other words, he entered into this domain of what we've called flux and, and move. It's a period mm. of movement and a period of stressing and straining and groaning, as it were, because of the earth and as it's affected by sin. And he was in that realm long enough. He grew up from a from a child, his experience was actually greater than that of Adam, if you think of it that way, mm -hmm. as a man. Adam being fully formed and the Lord Jesus growing up. But the, the king now, in coming as the Word made flesh, the king himself, he would sally forth to gain constituents for his own kingdom. <laughs> Don't you like that? Mm -hmm. He's not sending out letters and saying, would you join? I need some you know, members here. He's going for it, and he's going to gain them himself by his own work, by his own hand. He's going to go to earth, and he's going to gain these ones by his own work. Not just the 12 disciples, mm -hmm. not just the ones that would follow, but all the sons, mm -hmm. all the sons. Yeah. Prior to that time, too. Mm -hmm. See, all the ones that come to him by faith. He's going to enter this domain of risk and danger, this domain that is oppositional to his very nature in the extreme. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you account for the nature of heaven and the nature of earth? See, be beset by sin. Well, God can't look upon it, and the devil was cast out, and he found his place on the earth, and all these different things, but this is oppositional. This is, these are the these are him the Lord Jesus learning obedience by the things that he suffered just by being in this domain. But he had a commission to seek and save those given to him by his Father, and he did just that. And mm -hmm. so now he's coming in this time of triumph, and he's going to make this division. It's like like a king coming back from the war, as it were. Mm -hmm. These are the these are the ones that I brought back with me, mm -hmm. that have been victorious with me in this mm. battle, and then these are the prisoners, well, they'll be assigned over there. Mm. Yeah. A major portion of the inheritance would consist of the results of his faithful completion of the work given him to do. Mm -hmm. He's inheriting us. Mm -hmm. Now certainly we are inheriting the work as a whole in Christ, but he's inheriting us. He's doing more than inheriting us, like, a, like something on the side. Mm -hmm. There's this talk of a bride, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of this background and preparatory labor would ensure, though, for the comers, those are us, a marvelous inheritance. 
So he's mm -hmm. he's working. He has worked and he is working that you might come unto God mm -hmm. by him. Amen. Mm -hmm. This regarding the bride, uh, Brother Pat and I were talking on Saturday about, I guess Friday, on the, uh, about uh, this matter of, you know, the bride has made herself ready. You know, and, the, uh, the, and I thought about the, the parallel in earth, how that, uh, like when Sarah and I were married, you know, the, she as a bride uh, was very, very desirous to me because she, I thought she had a lot of things to add to me, right? Mm -hmm. But when you, when, you think about, when you think about us being the bride of Christ, what do we really have to add to him? See now that's see now that's a different perspective. See, and I and I I thought yeah, about we're this. We're explore that a little bit too. I thought about how that what we have to add to him is this this opportunity for him to work in us to work in us, us right and, mm -hmm. to, and, to, and to glorify his name. See, so yep. so that's uh, yep. that's where the parallel breaks down. Yeah, one of the parallels. Yeah. Earthly parallels only have a like a one or two dimensions, but when you think of the things of heaven, now you, you're not limited. But our inheritance, the, the inheritance of the saints, the sheep, the ones that he's giving it to here and declaring it to, it's not the result of their own labors. I mean, it is, but it isn't, you know. But again, it's Christ mm -hmm. in you, the hope of glory. It's mm -hmm. he that's willing to, to, to will and to work in you. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not just a random generosity. Well, I want to give these ones this kingdom because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like in the in the times of the old wars with David, they would actually like lay, lay like a line on the ground and measure it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And every third one, well, you got something good, but the other is too bad. It's not like that. It's not. It's not just because God cares and loves and is generous. It's, see, people have way too fuzzy of a notion. It's because of a calculated and purposeful endeavor of the Father. And That's the right. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is a time of mm -hmm. collecting all these mm -hmm. truths home. You know, Jesus said, I will lose none yeah. of them that the Father has given to me. That's right. And see, uh, so this is a, he can say this because these things have been appointed and determined Amen. before. This has already been decided on. Mm -hmm. He can say that. When I, when I prepare these things, I like to ask myself questions and then that come up in the, in the text or in the thinking and the consideration and then try to resolve them. And, you know, mm -hmm. not always completely successful because, you know, you don't, you don't ever get to the end of this where you say, well, I've, you know, I've seen all there is. But here's one. Is this kingdom only for the sons of men? See? There's talk of an integration here. If it's, if it's the kingdom of God and of his Christ, and there's heavenly real, uh, personalities that are you know, already involved in this, and the angels, what, what are they doing now? Well, they're, they're serving the ones that all... Uh, heirs of salvation, right? Mm -hmm. so, so this is a kingdom really larger than what you once thought. Mm -hmm. Or maybe maybe that. Mm -hmm. But but these are things that will be, I'm not looking to, to get into areas that we should not, but these are things to consider and, and to uh, rejoice in because mm -hmm. they'll become larger to us when we prepare them, really. Mm -hmm. But what integration will occur with the established realities of heaven? Like I said, the kingdom is not just prepared and like set on a shelf somewhere. It's waiting for these, mm -hmm. you know, several that are coming. It's being, you're actually being inducted into mm -hmm. a existing and growing kingdom mm -hmm. that's already established. And it's established in God. See, it's, it's, it's established in all the realities of God. We're going to set the parameters for the working of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's not sep the kingdom is not at any point going to be separate from God mm -hmm. and His Christ. Now it will have that peculiar nature or flavor in that mm -hmm. these sons of men are brought in through Christ. Mm -hmm. See, that will be that portion of it. But you're being brought into the kingdoms of this world shall be the, how does it say that in Revelation, shall be the kingdoms of God and of His Christ. Mm -hmm. See, so the, the redeemed mm -hmm. personalities will be brought into something for service, mm -hmm. but they'll be brought into a, an area where they can now work in a larger place than they mm -hmm. once had. In one sense is in what sense is this kingdom prepared for you mm. and in what sense is this kingdom prepared in you? Well see those are both true. Mm -hmm. There's a preparation that's taking place, but it's also being worked in you. Why are we why are we here for these many years, brother? Mm. Why is why is time going on? I mean, you know, why not just finish this thing way back or mm -hmm. at some point in time? Well, these are questions that mm -hmm. you know. 
you don't want to bump up too hard against, but he's doing this that he might demonstrate his wisdom. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. There's a wisdom in all of this work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. What are the properties or the advantages of this kingdom? The properties meaning uh, the, the, the ways that it works. When you think of a, a property, it has a dimension to it. It may be this many feet long or wide. It has uh, contours. It has uh, wealth or, or uh, it's, it's worth something. It has value. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. But see, when you start talking about all these properties of this kingdom, well, now you're just... You just kind of tap out and how you can mm -hmm. talk about it because it's beyond anything that you've ever... People talk about uh, streets of gold, but gold and silver don't mean anything yeah. from what we talked about mm -hmm. here. When Peter talked about these things, he talked about you weren't redeemed with corruptible things. Silver and gold are corruptible. So when the scriptures talk about the realities of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God in Christ, they use like the highest things maybe that we can think of, but then they just kind of, that's kind of like the baseline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jumping off. This kingdom, is it furnished? When you're when you're given an inheritance or a kingdom, it does it, what does it come with? Say, is it, is it, how is it ready for you? I'm just saying these as questions. I'm not going to answer them all. Mm -hmm. so, what, so these are things to consider. Are all the enemies removed? <laughs> mm. When the Israelites went into the land, they got an inheritance, but they had to do some kicking out. Yeah. Well, it mm. seems like we're doing more of that now. Mm. But there, I believe that a large portion of this preparation that's taking place in us now is for the ages to come. Yes. You're, you're not mm. just doing things. There is a sense in which we are in the quarry, and we're having the rough mm -hmm. edges knocked off. That's yeah. true. Mm. But when you're... Your swords are of that knocking off are turned into plowshares. Well, there's another yeah. work to do. Yeah. Amen. See, plowshares are not ornaments on a wall. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, working. here's yeah. another work. And, mm -hmm. and a kingdom is a working environment. Yes. A kingdom mm -hmm. is there's a king. There's there's his constituents. They go mm -hmm. out. They mm -hmm. they affect things just like now in mm -hmm. in the angels. They go out at his beck and call, and these things are accomplished, and they come back and. See, but we're, you're being brought, we're going to be brought into that kingdom. Mm -hmm. that and we're kingdom. going to be put over cities and things, mm -hmm. so I mean, there's going to yeah. be something to do. Rule over ten. Yeah. So when we speak of a kingdom, as God teaches us, He uses the things that He's already established in place in this domain so that we would become somewhat familiar with the way things mm -hmm. work. I mean, He did this in the working of the law with the working of the people of Israel, even with the creation, as we've noted. But when you think of a kingdom, you think of it's a, it's a settled region. Mm -hmm. It's not chaos. A kingdom mm -hmm. is something where there's an authority, mm -hmm. and there's a, an edict and will that takes place, and everything is done according to that mm -hmm. king. There's a king. Mm -hmm. Also, in a kingdom, there are... These are just things that I'm talking about in relation to a kingdom. These aren't things where you can go to the scripture and say, well, this is exactly like that. But these are yeah. things that he's made known to you. Mm -hmm. There are duties befitting an organized entity. There, there are things taking place. It's not a place just to go and rest and, you know, kick back and nothing <laughs> happens. A kingdom is a place where there's activity. Mm -hmm. There's more activity in the heavenly kingdom than you've ever seen mm -hmm. <laughs> or, mm -hmm. or, or thought. That, that's one of the horrors of being put out into the darkness. As one of the brethren noted yesterday, that's like a scattering. See, mm -hmm. a gathering together means there's a work to be done. Mm -hmm. A scattering means you can't, even if you wanted to, you couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. But mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven is a place of prodigious activity and Amen. accomplishment. And we only have the ages to come to mm -hmm. you know, have that opened up to us. So, forget the... Uh, playing on harps on the clouds foolishness. <laughs> also a kingdom oh. has there are there are there's an exercise coordinated to augment the purposes of the king. When I say exercise I mean things that are done. Mm -hmm. You don't have a little group over here doing what they want and now you know division arises. Yeah, Everything's right. oriented toward what the king Amen. has in mind. Amen. <laughs> and that's what they want. Yes, that's what they want too. That's right. Yeah. You think you're willing Amen. in the day of his power yes. now? Well, <laughs> Amen. So everything in the kingdom of God is coordinated and, and oriented by 
not only design but also by a willingness and desire to forward the will of that king. You know, uh, now still God's managing all things, so still all things are really they're being orchestrated by Him now. So even mm -hmm. though we think it's chaos, really He's managing these things for His purpose to mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. accomplish what He's mm -hmm. planning on accomplishing. Yeah. Maybe a silly illustration. I was thinking you can comb a dog's hair the wrong way and still comb it. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but okay. but see when everything is <laughs> well, but see when when everything is going in the right direction. Yes. Now, see, now you have something that's, that's obvious. There's also this matter of this identity is now cemented. When some some things when you put them together, they're 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 very soft and they this, we've used this word flux. They they seem to be malleable, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 still. But see, this won't be a time like that. But now this will be a time of being cemented in this reputation mm -hmm. yeah. uh, toward which you're working, mm -hmm. toward which Christ is working. But there will be a, 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 a cementing and a solidifying of this so that you'll be mm -hmm. able, all efforts will be able to be geared in the right mm -hmm. direction for the king. But also your, your reputation, not reputation as in how great you are, but reputation of whose you are and who mm -hmm. you are. This will be, there won't be any question to anyone. Certainly not to yourself. Well, there hasn't been any question in God's mind since the very beginning. That's right. He's known unto God are all His works. Mm -hmm. So if a person can prove to me that their entrance into the kingdom wasn't the work of God, then I would have to agree that God didn't know about it. But God knows mm -hmm. from the very beginning those that are His. And um, this is, how else could you have any confidence that you could actually make it through tomorrow. Amen. But God's God's able. He's able to bring us. And um, so this is a great confidence builder to know that that the kingdom is belongs to God, and He's given it to His Son, and His Son are bringing the children home. Amen. And um, this to get this boy, well, you'll have confidence that um, you you don't have to fear um, stumbling in, in in a place where you can't recover. You know, Peter, he started sinking. Mm -hmm. But he, see, God, he said, help. Mm -hmm. And immediately, mm -hmm. he, he didn't even get into the waters where he didn't, he didn't drown. Mm -hmm. He helped him right then. And then I can't even imagine the, what a fellowship they had on the walk back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that, just as we all have our own times of this, when, when we realize that it's not by works of righteousness that we've done. That's the same thing that Peter kind of like saw there that day. It, what, he, he didn't have the ability to walk on water. Mm -hmm. Jesus was giving him that. Amen. And um, yeah. so that walk back, what a joyous thing. So to, it's different to live with God, um, realizing that he's the one bringing you there. It's different. Amen. You have a different Amen. stance Amen. than when um, you were trying to work, work your way. Amen. That was a comment made yesterday that yes. when you get home, you uh -huh. are God's. Yeah. Amen. 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 Why mm. blessing? One of the magnificent realities too of this kingdom inherited and yes. being brought to is that it's a restriction free environment. Amen. When I say restriction in, in the sense of the things that we buck up against. Now, yes. Say within, enemies within and without. Mm-hmm. And to comment on what you're saying about it being cemented in, what, uh, what, how much more productive we will be at that time when the flesh is done away with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's variable right now is our flesh. That's a, the, the new man doesn't change his mind. The spirit's never going to say, hey, go over there. No, it's our flesh. So when that's gone and we're 100% cemented, as it were, to the purpose of God, to the will of God, to where no distraction. Well, how much more are we going to get done on that time? That's mm -hmm. well. <laughs> now you know we 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 give all diligence. We, in other words, we're full time for Christ, but even in our full time stance, we have things that we have to do here. Mm -hmm. you know, we Amen. have to pay our bills. You know, well, yeah, that's you're, you're that's just for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. now, I know you can pay your bills as unto the Lord. But it's still a distraction. Yes, amen. Even, even an ambassador in a far country is distracted. Yes. From where they are, they can't, they can't fully, and yet there'll become a time when, when we're called amen. to the home country. So. Yeah. Well, even when uh, Jesus called Peter, Peter called to Jesus, mm -hmm. and he walked, stepped out of the boat onto the tempestuous sea there, and 
and uh, and he walked with Jesus, attempted to walk with Jesus on the. But see, now in the glory to come, there won't be that sea won't be there. Mm -hmm. See, it will be able to. Yes. What I'm saying is that yes. right now we're hindered by the, uh, this world and the flesh mm -hmm. and all these things. Mm -hmm. It's just a great obstacle. But see, then all that will be removed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then there be no. And we'll be able. To, we'll be able to walk. Mm -hmm. And follow the Lamb wherever He goes. There won't be no, won't be no hindrance. That was an evidence of uh, the necessity for faith. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. He got out of that boat believing yes. that yeah. He could walk only because Jesus said yeah. to. Yes. But then when He looked away. Mm. See, so it also demonstrates the necessity of keeping your eyes open. Yes, Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which which kingdom, or or maybe, let's, let's do this. Sometimes the Scriptures has a lot of things that are posed in the negative or when you see the contrast you're actually able to you know what I mean mm -hmm. it, it benefits you and I want to just think of a couple of those which which kingdom let's just talk about how does the scripture talk about the kingdom I, I find this valuable for myself now there's a in the time of Moses and the giving of the law there was a kingdom of priests and and I know we are so this is like one of those now and then both mm -hmm. but this is not the kingdom he's talking about then something that can be established mm -hmm. and left on the earth mm -hmm. even in a great religious setting or you know among the working of God's people so it has nothing to do with this kingdom is not one that you package up and take with you it's a it's an absolutely new kingdom that you're going to be inducted mm -hmm. into now there are things that will transfer that you're that you're doing and that mm -hmm. you are Jesus talked about the children of the kingdom cast out. Now he was making the identity with the ones of like Israel. He was talking about like a of a fleshly vintage. So it's not that kingdom. It has nothing to do with the mm -hmm. earth and flesh. Mm -hmm. A kingdom divided against itself. Well, no, it's not that kingdom mm -hmm. either, is it? No, because it's not. Mm -hmm. How about when they asked Jesus? They said, "Will you restore to us the kingdom mm -hmm. of Israel, mm -hmm. or will you restore the kingdom to Israel?" No, not that kingdom either. This is not a this is not a restoration of anything that took place in the earth and mm -hmm. is being revived. This is a kingdom from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely it's outside this world's experience mm -hmm. from its inception and its source, but it's been the influences of it have been brought into this world because he mm -hmm. says, Isn't the kingdom in you or among you? Mm -hmm. So there's already a working of that kingdom here. Jesus Jesus talked about uh, his kingdom. Remember when he was answering to Pilate or, or Herod, one of the mm -hmm. two, and he talked about, mm -hmm. if, if it were, then my servants would fight. But my kingdom mm -hmm. is not yeah. this mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. so the identity is with, is not with this world. But let's think of also what it is. When David was preparing for the building of the temple, and the people were giving lavishly, and David knew that it was not to be committed to him to actually do it, but he was ever so thankful that he was able to have that much of an involvement mm -hmm. in the preparation that his son would do it. He, in his prayer um, before the people, speaking to God, he said, Thine is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He wasn't making the identity with even what was going to be built here. He See how much, see how far yeah. he saw? Yeah, amen. Just because we have a marvelous temple and I'm established as a king and all that, he, the promises that God made to him, he was able to mm -hmm. see that they transcended even his time and the, Magnificence of that time, and of course Jesus, in his in praying and teaching the disciples, Thine is the kingdom, and the mm -hmm. power, and the glory. Mm -hmm. So even he, in in the days of his flesh, he knew that the kingdom was not. He didn't want to give any indication mm -hmm. to the followers, mm -hmm. to the disciples, that the kingdom was of this natural order. See, mm -hmm. Thine is the kingdom. This is the kingdom that Psalm two speaks about. The kingdom of God and of His Christ, it says the, the, the kings of the earth, see it's making the mm -hmm. contrast, set mm -hmm. themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord mm -hmm. and His anointed. That's mm -hmm. the kingdom we're talking about. Yeah. The kingdom of the Lord and His anointed. In Psalm 22, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. All the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee, for the kingdom is the Lord's. Mm -hmm. That's the kingdom we're talking about. Yeah. And there'll be a time Amen. at the end when all will bow the knee mm -hmm. and make that confession. Mm -hmm. He is the governor among the nations, that kingdom. This is the kingdom Daniel was shown. Mm -hmm. It's a, remember the 
the stone that came and rolled yeah. over mm -hmm. and got larger and larger. Mm -hmm. He says, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Mm -hmm. No matter what guarantees this earth mm -hmm. makes, they can't make an everlasting claim. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then in the parable, so see, we're getting all these identities of how he's talking about this kingdom. Mm -hmm. They have reference to earth, but not in the sense of arising from the earth, but actually being ones that are going to be taken from the earth. In other words, the references to the kingdom in this earth are always to people, mm -hmm. always to the things that God is doing in people. Mm -hmm. Those are the only works that are going to transcend mm -hmm. time into eternity to pass on. Colossians, the kingdom of his dear son. Mm -hmm. How's that? The contrast to that is you're taken from the power of darkness. So mm -hmm. all the worlds are like concluded under that, right? Mm -hmm. Powers of darkness. A lot of them men don't see. They say, well, I'm part of this or that nation or kingdom, but really it's a power of darkness. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of his dear son is the one that you've been translated into. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can, you, I won't go into all, all of them. I just had a, several. Uh, Christ will deliver up the kingdom to the Father. Mm -hmm. That kingdom. That's, mm -hmm. that's actually what he's doing here. Yeah. Just prior yeah. to the yeah. time when he'll deliver up that kingdom. I just think it, 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 it's important there this, this matter that, of that fellowship and love between the Father and the Son. Here's the, uh, here's the acknowledgement of that by Jesus to his Father that he's going to he, he, he turns the, the, the kingdom over to mm -hmm. him in the acknowledgement mm -hmm. of what he has done. Mm -hmm. and remember in the book of Acts when, when, when the apostle was speaking there about, about Jesus where he accomplished all these signs and miracles and wonders, it says that God did through him. Mm -hmm. See, so that, that this, 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 is a, this is a God's working and Jesus is, is, is an acknowledger of that too to the praise. Mm -hmm. he's, he's giving the praise to God as well. Mm -hmm. He's, he's the, the, this, this, the kingdom is yours, he, he, and he will be subjected to the yes. Father throughout Amen. all the yeah. ages to come. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's, that's a humbling yeah. of, 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 the, of the Word of God. Mm. The entry into this has begun in time and in the earth. Peter noted it this way, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant, abundant mercy hath begotten us again, unto a life of hope. Mm -hmm. So being born into this mm -hmm. comes now, but you're being saved and preserved and, and worked in until the time when mm -hmm. it will actually come in its full. He says, to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and that fadeth not away, and it's reserved in a safe place. It's reserved mm -hmm. in heaven for you. Mm -hmm. if, if the work was just done here and then you were put in t into a kingdom here, no matter mm -hmm. how good it may be, see? It's, it's subject to, to fault or, or danger. Mm -hmm. Like if men assign themselves to the greatest kingdom of this world, well, where is it now? See, I mean, mm -hmm. even even like in Israel, well, where is where are the kingdoms kingdom of David now? Mm -hmm. See, so that, that's not the way he's talking. So Peter wrote also in his second epistle, this is 2 Peter 1, 11, he says, an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly mm -hmm. into the everlasting kingdom yeah. of yeah. our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. I like that. Mm -hmm. like that. Let's talk. An entrance ministered unto you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you think of you know, the Father and the Son and the angels all, and now they've you know opened up this avenue for you, and mm -hmm. it's perfectly suited that you would enter in. Mm -hmm. Because, because he's Christ has made it suitable. Uh, just just several observations overall, and then I'll go ahead and stop. These are these are things that some of you brethren have already mentioned. The first is that there's nothing of a critical nature that's added to the kingdom by us. Mm -hmm. Now I say a critical nature. Mm -hmm. The reason we know that is because it's a kingdom prepared for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's critical to you, and it's critical to you getting there that mm -hmm. you. Endeavor and mm -hmm. you know work out your your, your salvation, but there's mm -hmm. nothing of a critical nature. See that would put it in a a dangerous state, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if it's put in the hands of men, well, I don't want to trust in a kingdom like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even myself, you, you you don't trust in yourself. Uh -huh. You trust in God and in, and in Christ. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing of a critical nature that's added to the kingdom, even by those ready to inherit. In other words, you can't earn toward it. Yeah. You can't earn your way into this kingdom. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't really 
add to it in its essence. You add to it by becoming a part of something that's there that's already planned mm -hmm. that you would be. The, the, the planning already includes that you're there. Mm -hmm. Let's say it that way. Paul made this note in talking to the believers in Rome, and it was in relation a lot to, to Israel, but he said the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Mm -hmm. I see that has a bearing mm -hmm. on this too. Mm -hmm. in, in one sense, this is a gift, mm -hmm. and in another sense, this is a calling. Mm -hmm. See, he's giving, but he's also calling you unto it mm -hmm. that you might be involved in it, mm -hmm. but it's without repentance. In other words, there's not a, a turning away from it. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if not as many are coming to this kingdom as I thought? Well, do I, is the mission aborted and yeah. something doesn't want to see? Yeah. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. No. What if too many come? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. See, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. This is a kingdom prepared for you mm -hmm. from the foundation mm -hmm. of the world. Yeah. Amen. This, this, this was big to me, and, and I sort of said this before, but this kingdom anticipated sin, mm -hmm. redemption, glory. Mm -hmm. I mean, just go through. This yeah. This kingdom anticipated the Garden of Eden mm -hmm. and everything that took place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The innocence, the tree, it anticipated the serpent. Mm -hmm. It anticipated the entrance of sin mm -hmm. into the world. It anticipated Noah and the flood mm -hmm. and the reduction mm -hmm. to eight mm -hmm. souls. Seven of them located in the one, if you want to. Mm -hmm. it, it anticipated the tenure of the law great time period anticipated the uh, Jews mm -hmm. the Gentiles Abraham Isaac Jacob all these anticipated you mean as purposed uh, no in other words what what I'm saying is the, the kingdom did not it didn't it didn't have to corrections be made along the way so did God purpose all yeah. this oh yeah okay. oh yeah that's, that's what we're saying. saying I see how you're asking yeah. you were asking you were clarifying yeah. okay yeah it, an, it anticipated Messiah. Yes. The time now we some refer to as the Church Age, when mm -hmm. the Church is showing the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. but in other words, the, the, it, it calculated all these things in, if we mm -hmm. can say it that way. God doesn't calculate like we do. Mm -hmm. Remember, He talked about what what uh, King doesn't sit down first and see if he has enough. Yeah, God, right. God doesn't have to do like that. We do. Mm -hmm. So when He gives that instruction, He's talking about you better look and see if you have, you know. You better see if you can take up your cross and follow me. That's what he's yeah. saying. Well, you didn't know then what you know now, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's just a yeah. PS. But but anyway, the king the kingdom is from the foundation of the world. So all these things are not going to change course of this kingdom. They're going to actually bring it to a wonderful completion and conclusion and mm -hmm. a demonstration of the work of God. That uh, he was he's keeping a people, and preserving a people, and bringing them into this kingdom in fullness. Also, this kingdom is compatible with all comers. If you come unto God by Him, you're received. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's wonderful to know. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. You, you can labor for years and years on the earth toward a certain goal and then mm -hmm. be turned away on the last day. I mean, yeah. it's, it happens in the job world mm -hmm. or yeah. relationships, you know, these sort of things, but it's not like this in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the assessment I, this is this is good too to note here in the text that we read originally when he talked about if you have done it unto the least or if you have not done it unto the least if you've done it unto me so the assessment is made in regard to fellowship or lack of fellowship with peers mm -hmm. with other with other believing mm -hmm. ones mm -hmm. the least of these my right. brethren mm -hmm. so I'm talking about the, the Jewish nation mm -hmm. as, as a whole mm -hmm. anyway, so so th this is like one of those checks, you know. Yeah. How how am I uh, how am I coming to God? Mm -hmm. Also, many brother Al printed out a sheet as we prepared to uh, look at this several weeks ago, and in each of the texts that talk about the mysteries, right? pretty much all of them, of Christ, it had some sort of reference to this predetermination or working mm -hmm. of God. It connected it somehow to the foundation of the world, mm -hmm. or, or it would say before time, you know, mm -hmm. the different wordings. But there's a, in this kingdom, there's a connection or an interface of working with, mm -hmm. with all the other realities associated with the eternal purpose. So when we're coming into this kingdom, 
it's not just a reward for you. It has to do with all the other workings of God. God's kingdom is a large kingdom. It's not just, what I'm saying is, it's not just about the salvation of men. It's mm -hmm. not like a corner of work. It's not done in a corner, here's the world, an obscure corner of the universe. It's mm -hmm. not like that. It's true that that small corner is being brought in, but it's being brought into this large work. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom has to do with all the workings and, mm -hmm. and wisdom and mm -hmm. nature of God, person of God. There is a necessity of time so that the involvements of this age would determine the recipients, that they, that they would come to fruition as it were. Mm -hmm. Many times Jesus, especially in the parables, would speak of things that had to do with uh, planting, mm -hmm. sowing, reaping, these sort of things. So the earth is a, it's not an experiment, but it's mm -hmm. a demonstration of the, the nature that God mm -hmm. is a sower, but he's also a reaper. Mm -hmm. so he doesn't. He doesn't. So he doesn't straw and not, you know, mm -hmm. gather back. Mm -hmm. He does. There's a necessity of time. It is. It is necessary that the involvements of this age would determine, in time, the recipients. In that, there is no fault by respect of persons. Well, what if? What if he got to the judgment, and he didn't go according to these these things? You know. Mm -hmm the treatment of the brethren and death. Mm -hmm. what if he what if it just became arbitrary at the last minute well see then you couldn't say that it was a a kingdom that was founded mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the foundation of the world this kingdom is prepared from the foundation of the world but the details still have to be fleshed out in time mm -hmm. that's what we're mm -hmm. saying also this inheritance entails a realm of responsibility these are things that we've already said in the last hour but i'm just sort mm -hmm. of summing them up a kingdom assumes that you're going to have a position mm -hmm. when you're involved in it. You're not just coming in as just to be protected or, mm -hmm. oh, I'm finally safe at last. It's not like that. A yeah. kingdom is a working involvement. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's what you're being prepared for. Mm -hmm. You're being prepared exactly for that work mm -hmm. in that kingdom, uniquely. Mm -hmm. But you're not, But you're again, you're not coming into the kingdom and you're put over here to work in this field and Brother Mike over there in that field. Mm -hmm. It's a unified work. Mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. you're already a laborer together with him. Mm -hmm. See? All the qualifications, all the improvements, we can say it that way, all the alterations are effected by the king. Now, again, I've said that it's, a, it's an unchanging kingdom, mm -hmm. but when I'm talking about qualifications, improvement, alterations, I'm talking about things that shape you and me, things that seem to be mm -hmm. changing from day to day, or actually you measure these things more in decades, really, a lot of times. But mm -hmm. where, where were you 10 years ago? What, what did you see? Well, mm -hmm. you're different now because mm -hmm. he's worked in you. Mm -hmm. But all these are affected by the king. Mm -hmm. Not just because time's passing by. You're not, I was talking to one of the brothers, we're not just growing older and more mellow, say. I mean, mm -hmm. the world talks like that. Mm -hmm. so you're, you're actually being sharpened up, spiritually speaking, mm -hmm. for a task, but it's be, being affected by the king in accordance with what he already knows. Mm -hmm. you're, you're being unified with that work already and you just don't know the, the whole of it mm -hmm. and then lastly this kingdom awaits a magnified expression or demonstrations of glory in the ages to come mm -hmm. this this is not just a grand gathering together and that's the end of it all and everybody's going to rest for the rest of time it's not mm -hmm. like that it, this is a preparatory work i believe this brother because mm -hmm. a kingdom is not a, a uh, where things don't, you know, they just get to a certain point and stop. This is an expanding kingdom. This is a growing kingdom. It's one that in the ages to come, well, we look we look forward to the things that mm -hmm. God has prepared for those that love Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Any other observations from you, brother? There'll be no distractions in that kingdom. Amen. That's right. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I thought how the, the world, as you said, Brother Dan, I never thought about it like this, but it, this world, uh, barring, excluding its uh, moral distractions, I guess, mm -hmm. is an introduction to the world to come. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, you know, there's, I would say there's, there shall be no more sea, but that's mm -hmm. a comparison with this world, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're actually, in this world, we're, we're actually, in the, in the things that are all about us, see, we're, there's actually things to compare with that 
Mm-hmm. You know, not you know, not doorknobs and things like that. But I mean, there's mm-hmm. it, it, there's well, like there are, and there's things that will transition over, like joy. Mm-hmm. Joy will transition over. Mm-hmm. Happiness, mm-hmm. I'm happy, but it will be in the, in the purest, yeah, mm-hmm. in the purest expression. See, mm-hmm. and of course, for the for the wicked, you know, uh, um, uh, affliction and misery will pass over that in the mm-hmm. purest. In the purest form, yeah. too. See, that would mm-hmm. it'll work out that way, too. So, mm-hmm. so anyhow, but this world actually is, you know, when you when you go to work every day and when you just wherever you are, you say, well, this mm-hmm. is. Uh, you can make comparisons. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna when I step when you step into the world to come, you say, well, this I can see. There's these parallels that were, uh, mm-hmm. you know, here and uh, this is not this is not like that, but this is like that. Mm-hmm. You know, and, when you, when you think of the things that are developed in you, we think of it being a warfare of faith. You mm-hmm. have the armor of God, you have all these, mm-hmm. you know, uh, stand as a good soldier of Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and war a good warfare and these sort of things. But even even in warfare, things are accomplished in you that don't necessarily need to be used for fighting, mm-hmm. as it were now. Yeah. You, have, you have endurance and courage and trusting and all these things that are developed in you, mm-hmm. but now they can be attentive toward other right. purposes mm-hmm. in the kingdom mm-hmm. to come. Mm-hmm. The men on the wall had a sword uh, and a trowel, which caused them to sweat more. So mm-hmm. they're, they're both exerting mm-hmm. works, mm-hmm. See, but he's going to take away the one that he might establish mm-hmm. the other. <laughs> Amen. Let's go ahead and pray, and then uh, let you tell us what we're going to do. No? Okay. Oh, I see, brother. Okay. Thank you, our Father, for the, the good uh, fellowship that we enjoyed this mm-hmm. morning among ourselves and with the Father, yourself, and the Son. Thank you for your words that are a, a resource for us and mm-hmm. encouragement to us to continue. And we look forward to the things which we will enjoy by being joined with your Son, Christ Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.